Okay, everybody. Um, for this assignment, uh, essentially everything is contained in the Rich Shoop tutorial. But just in case, if you need some more help, here I am. I'm going to help out and uh, walk you guys through the same process that I'm going to go through. First of all, I'm setting up my stage here a little bit, just dragging this over. Once again, I can drag these things up and down. Um, so anyway, I've got my website here. And essentially, just to review very quickly, things fade in right this fades in this animates up this page pops in over here and this text flies in okay now um as we work on this i'm going to uh make a couple of changes and the first thing change that i'm going to make is right here on the paper uh this is going to have all of the text for the website so i'm guessing it's going to need to be a little bit bigger so i'm going to get my transform tool and notice I picked the second keyframe, not the beginning keyframe where it's all tiny, right, and disappeared, but this keyframe where the text is bigger. And I'm going to um, make it bigger and reposition it. Let's say right here. All right, yeah, that looks good. All right, so that comes in. And of course, um, you know, now it's blocking um, the sprite character of my son. So what I need to do is move him maybe over. So here, I'm going to click on him here. And then um, just hold down the shift key. Click on him. Unlock him first. Click on him and hold down the shift key and use the arrows to arrow him over. Right? And then I'll do the same thing when he's off stage. There, you can kind of see it moving off stage a little bit down here. And then double check to see how it animates up. Okay, well he kind of slides over. So I'm going to slide him over here. And see, still sliding over. Okay. And he slides up. And then this fades in. And this slides over. Okay, that sounds good. Maybe I'll even make this a little bit bigger. Down the key. Make it slightly bigger. So now it animates in. Now I have more room for the text that's going to appear. Okay, so after all of these animations happen, um, I'm on frame 50. I'm going to need to add some more frames for what's going to happen next. And what he does is he goes to the top layer and he adds two new layers. One, two. Okay, the first layer he calls uh, page content. So I'm going to do that too. Page content. Okay. Or I'll just call it content. All right. And then layer 10, he does that one also calls that labels. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you guys do one more. Okay. Uh, well, we'll start with that, actually. That's fine. And we'll scroll over. And the last animation happens here. And on 50, I'm free. The last animation happens at 47. So you can pick any frame. But I'm going to pick 50 because all the animation has already happened. And that's where he starts putting some keyframes. So he does this. He puts a keyframe here. I'm going to use F6 and F6, and then five, uh, 10 frames ahead, he puts another keyframe, F6, F6, and then, um, and I, and then he goes 10 frames ahead, and puts another keyframe. I'm actually going to drag this over and do like 7 frames ahead. So I just make it a little more visible. Let's see here, F6, F6, doesn't matter exactly how many frames it is. Okay, so I've just done that. All right, so he does four sets of keyframes. And then he puts labeled content inside of the keyframes. He calls the first one, he says on the frame labels, he clicks the keyframe and then goes down to the property window and types in home. Okay, and then hits enter. And now you should see a little home flag, red flag with the word home in there. And then the next one is products. Okay, and this, you might not have products on your website, so you could say, uh, you know, about, 
that could be the About Us page. And in the next keyframe here, notice I'm on the Labels layer. Go down to the Frame Label and type in a Gallery. Hit Enter, and there's the Gallery. And on the next one, he puts in Contact. So click on that keyframe right there. Go down here, Contact. Hit Enter. So now you've got the Home, the About, the Gallery, and the Contact frame label in each keyframe. What is a frame label? You put it in a keyframe, uh, you take a keyframe, you go down, click on that keyframe, go down to the property window, and there's a place for the frame label um, in the property window. Notice I'm on the frame. When I click on the keyframe, the property window reflects the frame. And home is, the, uh, is basically where the frame label goes right here. This is where you put in the frame label. Okay? Beautiful. And then after he does that, he starts, he goes in and he puts content on each page. Just like um, he does, we're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to put in um, text and we'll do the same exact thing he does uh, in the 10.4 video. We'll go one step at a time and I'll walk you through it.